Hmm. Kita bukan saja menyambut uh, perayaan di negara kita hmm. tetapi sama-sama kemerahannya disambut di seluruh dunia yang hmm. mana uh, bukan saja di di Malaysia tetapi di seluruh dunia juga kita boleh berkongsi kemerahan itu dengan menghubungi rakan-rakan kita dari seluruh dunia. Hmm. Hmm. Namun mungkin suasana uh, sambutan ketibaan syawal tu berbeza uh, di setiap negara yang menyambutnya hmm. dan uh, kita akan berhubung secara Skype secara langsung sama dengan rakan kita dari Palestin uh, Munib yang kini berada di sana. Uh, kita akan cuba dapatkan uh, talian terus berhubung bersama dengan uh, Munib uh, secara Skype. Uh, Hello, Munib. Hello Munib. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Hello. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Um, how are you doing over there, Munib? How's your ideal fitri? Again, sorry. How was your aid celebration? celebration? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for hosting us. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Eid this this year was Alhamdulillah safe. This is the the, the, the main thing that people are talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know, it was uh, Ramadan and Eid have a, have a very special uh, you know uh, uh, celebration uh, you know uh, customs in Gaza in Gaza. Oh, oh. All people are, uh, you know, gathering around the table together, and uh, in, in Ramadan and in Eid at the same time, uh, visiting each other. Uh, you know, uh, uh, children are celebrating in the streets. Uh, the mm-hmm. one thing, in general, we, uh, Munib, the one thing that amazes uh, Muslims around the world, of course, is the determination of the Muslims in Palestine. Uh, when you celebrate Ramadan, you fast regardless of the hardships mm-hmm. that you have to endure in Gaza. Uh, can you talk to us about the resolve of the Palestinian people uh, in observing the tenets of Islam? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, this is actually uh, it's it, it's a matter of strengthening us rather than uh, you know doing this in, in in a hardship. You know, it it gives us uh, the you know the, the strength and the uh, the energy to uh, to keep on going. So Alhamdulillah, getting closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes us. Uh, being uh, hard, you know, able to uh, be more resilient uh, on the mm-hmm. ground, young. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how everybody feels. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we we lived uh, last year uh, Ramadan in a very difficult uh, situation under uh, continuous, as you know, shelling and bombing, and uh, mm-hmm. it was very difficult. Alhamdulillah, this year was uh, safer at least. That's, uh, okay. that's how it was. Munib, um, how do how do you see this uh, Eid celebration? Is the, the the chance for the people in Palestine to really uh, gather and you know uh, to be stronger than before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 not the people in Palestine. It's the people in Gaza specifically because unfortunately we are still disconnected from the rest of Palestine. I mean, we mm-hmm. we cannot go to the West Bank or uh, relatives in the West Bank cannot visit us. It's, we are only talking about Gaza uh, as a separate and the West Bank separate. So uh, you know, in, 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 in this is still one of the uh, one of the uh, very difficult uh, you know situations or very. Uh, 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 un- unpleasant, if I may say, uh, feelings that uh, everybody has. Yani, uh, it's very difficult for you know people in Gaza and the West Bank are very well connected, families, uh, uh, relatives, and so on. But they are disconnected f- physically. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the major problems. But in Gaza, in Gaza specifically, and in, inside you know the uh, the areas where we can reach each, each other, yeah, the connections are alhamdulillah very very strong and. Uh, you know, people connections together are uh, are you can feel it specific, especially in Ramadan and Eid, of course, because uh, it, you know it's a, mm-hmm. it's a, it's the time for uh, for uh, uh, spiritual connections and uh, you know relative connections as well. Now, the Palestinian cause is more than just a headline, and in the West and international media reporters from around the world. They tend to focus on headlines and they forget that uh, the Palestinian people suffer every day regardless of their focus. Here in Malaysia, we try to constantly give attention to the Palestinian cause and uh, we hope that, uh, in Alhamdulillah, Munib, you and the rest of the people of Palestine uh, will definitely come out of this difficult time uh, that Mm -hmm. you're facing in Gaza. Uh, Can you talk to us about how the situation is being resolved on the ground? Are there any efforts? Are peace talks moving forward 
What's the latest from Palestine? Well, uh, yeah, to comment on uh, on what you have said, uh, we do ref really appreciate you focusing on uh, on our daily life on, uh, and on the situation on the ground, and we do really feel sincerely feel the uh, the passion that uh, Malaysian people has uh, have towards the Palestinians, and uh, we do feel it physically at Islamic Relief with the support that you guys are giving the, to, to the Palestinians in terms of the situation on the ground. Uh, nothing really is moving forward as far as we see. The construction mm -hmm. is still, I mean, the destruction is very, very, uh, I mean, very, very big around uh, the city, and nothing is moving on uh, on a, on a on a practical way. Uh, uh, the situation is basically continuous, uh, if I may say, uh, narcotic uh, uh, treatment rather than, uh, you know, uh, total treatment. So uh, we just keep hearing that there might be some solutions. There is no solutions. Uh, there are some conflicts. There is no conflict about so very minor issues as far as the normal people in the street see. And the suffering continues uh, of the people without any uh, solid solution that may change the lives of people. As you probably know, uh, the Palestinian community is a very young community. We are around 70% below 24 years old. All right. Wow. Okay, thank you, Munir. Uh, young people have no hope whatsoever for future work, future uh, stability in their family life, how to establish a new family. These are the concerns of, uh, of, of the majority of the community. Right. So looking at the young people, uh, they really don't know what what's coming up to them in the future. Even in the, I mean, in the very short, I mean, uh, very narrow-minded uh, thinking of a person, thinking of his or her future work or income generation or stability. Right. We have a lot of uh, energetic, energetic people, knowledgeable, I mean, educated, but they don't know how how the future will will be in front of them. Okay. Thank you, Munib. Um, whatever happened, we hope that you stay strong and we are hoping and praying for the best for the people of Palestine. Itulah dia, saudara, situasi yang cukup berbeza jika dibandingkan dengan sambutan IDF3 di Malaysia. Uh, mereka di Palestin masih lagi terpaksa menghadapi situasi yang penuh dengan cabaran uh, di mana akan sentiasa berlaku uh, kekacauan disebabkan oleh uh, Puan Zionis yang mempunyai uh, satu dasar yang cukup kejam uh, disappropriate uh, response di mana sekiranya berlaku sesuatu yang uh, dikatakan menceroboh kawasan mereka atau sebagainya akan dibalas dengan serangan meskipun hmm. tidak ada sebarang kehilangan nyawa ataupun harta benda pada Puan uh, Zionis jadi hmm. ini adalah suatu situasi yang setiasa berlaku uh, di Gaza dan mungkin kurang laporannya di media barat namun kita di Malaysia sentiasa cuba mengangkat Uh, rakyat Palestin ini dan membantu untuk mengetengahkan cerita mereka mm -hmm. isu yang tidak berkesudahan, uh, kuasa uh, doa, kita panjatkan doa untuk bukan saja kita di sini tetapi mereka di sana uh,